Okay, I'm going to try and do a little start up now of the ET6 hit and miss engine. It's one of these little engines that are machined in China. And I've got to say, to, uh, to a pretty nice quality, they, uh, they do look really quite something. Um, it's got a side shaft here with a governor assembly, little upright ball governor which is all pretty nice. It's all made out of brass. I think the rest of the engine looks like it's probably aluminium by the looks of it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna just see if we can get it to fire up now. So that's our ignition on. The engine is stone cold. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's the first little run of this ET6 engine. Um, I don't know how many other people have had slight little issues with them, uh, but my one's definitely got a problem. Uh, you can tell down here by all the water that it's definitely got a water jacket leak. So obviously there's some sort of seal. This is a barrel that you can remove. I'm guessing this little Allen screw here can be taken out and this entire sleeve uh, can be removed along with the piston. Uh, probably through the front of the engine so it's probably the head coming off and uh, and then just needs a seal or some silicon sealant on it just to stop it from leaking because it's definitely definitely got a problem there with water being passed into the cylinder uh, obviously it shouldn't be a problem corrosion wise um, not unless it was going to be left for ages uh, but it shouldn't be an issue uh, but you can tell just how small this engine is is tiny and uh, yeah it seems to run relatively well it obviously wants a little bit of attention uh, this little 
issue here with the uh, water is probably not going to help it. It's probably losing a little bit of compression. And then also I'm told if you fiddle a little bit with the uh, governor, you can get it so it will actually run a little bit slower and uh, hit more often or miss more often is the case maybe because it's, uh, it's basically at the moment almost hitting every time. It's definitely got a bit of a miss to it. Uh, but it's uh, not quite as refined as some of the old hit and miss engines would be. But yeah, something to have a little bit of fun with. We can have a little bit of a play with this and see if we can get it running a little bit smoother and then go from there.